can feel the carbs like dispersing in my veins right now. My chicken, the rest of the sodium free peas, and we need to start eating some cereal. It's weird, I'm not like crazy hungry getting this meal, but like once I start eating, it's like I can't stop. I don't know what it is. What is going on guys? It is Joe and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to a brand new episode of this prep series. Today is one day out, baby. It's carb up day. It's also dehydration day. And so we got a lot of things to do, a lot of things we're gonna go over today. Right now, I woke up today 164, I think 0.2 pounds, which is the lowest weigh-in of this entire prep. My highest weigh-in, I think last week was around 169 and the median was 167. So I was able to drop, I think three pounds from my median weight last week and like a total of like, what is that? A total of like five pounds from the high. So that's what happens when you go through a really good peak week. I'm feeling good for what it is. I've already had a coffee to try and help as far as like energy goes, also to help me poop which hopefully it's gonna do. I can feel something brewing right now. But what we have for meal number one is 150 grams of chicken with just pepper because we're still sodium depleting. My last two meals last night, I didn't put any salt on whatsoever. So hopefully that sodium depletion is gonna help drain more water. We have here two liters or roughly half a gallon to finish. Um, relatively by 9 a.m. It's currently 7.30 in the morning. After that, the water is gone. But after this, the carbs come in. So we have quite the array of things to do today. Eating this chicken dry with no salt, not fun. We still have a lot to do today. We have to get tan. I have to go to the grocery store, pick up the rest of my carb meals. Athlete check-in, all that stuff. Anyways, I'm going to eat this chicken, drink this water, and I will see you guys in the first official carb up meal of the day. Ooh. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Last bit of water going down. Water is done. The time is currently 8.26. The water from now on will be cut out. That is two liters, half a gallon of water. Basically, the science behind this is that because I was water loading, like two, three gallons of water, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, what's happening or what's gonna happen is that I've drinking essentially half a gallon for the first kind of like 90 minutes of me being awake. My body's not going to have time to realize that I'm not going to be drinking any more water. So when you carb deplete and you water load, your body is constantly peeing. Like I've already peed about like three times today so far, and it's just eight in the morning. I peed once uh, at like five in the morning. I peed again uh, before I weighed myself and I like peed again after the chicken. So I've already peed like three times. What's going to happen is my body's not going to realize or have enough time to adjust the fact that I'm not getting more water. So it thinks that I'm still going to get water, but it's going to keep peeing basically. I'm going to keep on peeing um, and that's going to help me lose all that water weight. That's going to create the saran wrap around the skin uh, kind of look and just make me look just very dry and peeled. The hardest part about today is no water. So especially eating all the carbs with, with none, I will have maybe a little bit with some fries, um, but that's pretty much it and then the next day tomorrow on the show day i'll wake up early and i'll have like a cup of coffee and that's pretty much it so that's all that we're really getting um that's really the hardest part about today but it's it's what's needed to be as dry and as lean as possible you know when you step on stage so that is the overall plan and speaking of peeing i need to go to the pee again so i will see you guys in the first carb up meal of the day Alrighty, here with meal number one, and what we got is three cups of rice, half a can of sodium free peas, and like a little handful of chicken. I'm gonna eat this right now because I'm like starving out of my mind, and then I'm gonna talk about it after. So cue the time lapse now. Last bite, dunzo. I'm not even kidding. I've been so depleted of carbs for so long, I can feel the carbs like dispersing in my veins right now. Like, <clears throat> I can feel it. It's almost like a weird kind of tingling sensation. That is meal number one going down. Uh, again, limited the amount of sodium that I'm gonna be having in this meal. Overall, what I'm just trying to go for is just to kind of fill up the muscle. I've already peed like 
10 times uh, before this just because again I cut my water out so my body is not quite adapted to the idea that like, I'm not going to be drinking any more water so again I'm pissing everything out that's going to help with the overall tightness around this like the muscle um, to get like that nice like saran wrappy kind of look so that is basically how that is done next meal we'll probably be having with relatively within like mm, two and a half three hours or so I just want to give this meal time to digest let the food absorb and then that's pretty much it so meal number one down I'm not going to count the macros today there's just know that i'm having like a ridiculous amount of carbs like it's going to be like 8,000 plus calories it's it's insane so that was meal number one going down i will see you guys as the day rolls on Alrighty, welcome to meal uh, i think number three what we have is the same as last time except we're doing two cups of rice a little bit of chicken the rest of the sodium free peas and we need to start eating some cereal. So by the end of the day, this is basically to hold me over. Once the carbs come in, we can kind of just now flood the body with just immense amount of carbohydrates. And so I love doing this. Reese's Puffs are my preferred uh, cereal. They're so good, the peanut buttery. I just pour them in the bowl of, uh, of rice here and I just go to town. The only crappy part is that you have to eat them dry, which is the sacrifice that you make, but other than that, sorry, I'm just happy to start eating some junk right now. You know, you've been dieting so hard. I was carb depleted for those three days that it's just like, oh, yes. So anyway, so I'm going to eat this. Eat the cereal. And I'll update you as this one day out vlog goes. I'm just here in my room eating all my meals because I don't go out to my house. We're moving. So furniture and stuff is just everywhere. So in the meantime, my room is still like has like a desk at least, you know. But anyways, I'm going to eat this. And I'll see you guys as day rolls on. Almost done with this first box here. Apparently where I'm getting my tan at, it's about like an hour away. Um, I have to get another like an hour and a half um, before I like, eat my next meal or so. I'm gonna shower in about 30 minutes because that'll be my last shower. Uh, because once I have the tan on, like, that's it, you know? You know I can't shower it off. It's Once it's on, it's on. I will probably more than likely be eating my meal uh, either on the way to my tan or like towards the tail end of that so I'm not gonna necessarily like show that but it's gonna be one cup of rice a little bit of chicken and then seven rice cakes uh, that is the next meal and then on the way home whatever the case is I'll be still munching on the second box of this Reese's uh, puff cereal anyways I'm just sitting here chilling gonna shower take my meal to go get tan and the next time you see me I'll be completely tan out of my mind so I will see you guys then Alrighty, here with the tan, nice and bronze. As you can see, um, this is what we're looking like. Maybe I can give you guys a little bit of a physique update, a little bit of a physique check. I'm gonna do it here in the mirror. This is what we're looking like with the tan. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my shirt up a little bit in the light so you can see. It's kind of hard to see with this lighting. It's this is kind of what we're looking like here. Abs in check, tan. We are still full of food, letting everything just absorb. But what we got for the next meal right now going down is going to be uh, these bags of mini cheddar rice cakes right here. At this point, we're starting to load in some sodium. This first half of the day has been like low sodium and even last night, I didn't salt any of my food either. So now we're starting to load the sodium in. Uh, I'm still dehydrated, extremely thirsty, um, but I'm gonna eat those. I also have about half a box of the Reese's Poofs cereal going on right now. So I already finished the first box. The first box took me like an hour. I'm not even kidding. I ate that thing so quick. And now I'm on this guy. Um, and then we're gonna eat both of these bags right here. So gonna chow down those. Basically after this meal, we have fries and then some like candy and whatnot before bed. Um, and then in the middle of the night, if we wake up and go pee, we have some more candy. Um, and then I have my tan tomorrow. Um, and then we kind of just chill at the hotel uh, where the event's being held at because my tan's at seven and then I basically will be there from seven and then we get let in at 10. So I have quite the gap uh, between them. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. I'm gonna finish those rice cake minis and just continue on the day. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next meal of the day. Cool. What we have here are three French fries from In-N-Out. Now I got three of these fries. Usually I get like two decently large fries, but In-N-Out fry orders are, I find are so small. And so I got three 
just regular. There's no small, medium, or large. It's just like you just order fries. And so got three orders of them. I'm gonna try and eat as like as many of these as possible. Um, there's there's quite a bit here. Obviously, um, this is like the really the last kind of big fill up. Um, even though I do have like some more like chocolate bars and stuff to eat, uh, but those are like not really hard at all. But I'm really just kind of going for sodium here. A lot of salt I want to try and get in this meal. I got like regular ketchup here. Um, I'm really just trying to go for this fill up here. Um, in and out fries are so easy to eat in my opinion. Like, I'm not so much hungry anymore. I'm just thirsty. Like, extremely, extremely thirsty. The hardest part about eating these fries is the fact that like my mouth is so dry. I don't have any water. I'm actually really surprised. This meal last year completely messed me up. I mean, I was like in a complete food coma after this meal last year. It's weird, I'm not like crazy hungry getting this meal, but like once I start eating, it's like I can't stop. I don't know what it is. Like I'm not really that hungry, but like I just, for some reason it's like I just keep on eating. The time right now is around 10.39. I'm probably gonna wait like another like, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours before I have like my last kind of like final meal before bed. Other than that, fries are done. Now, I am gonna have, and I should note this, a seven and a half <laughs> blue and ounce can of uh, Diet Dr. Pepper here. Um, that's just gonna hold me over for the rest of the night. I've had nothing to drink since pretty much 8.30 a.m. I am bone dry right now. Um, and it's still gonna just gonna get dry, even more dry overnight. So it's just to hold me over for the night right now. Just get a little fluid in my system. Just get a little lubrication in the mouth because like, I'll be honest with you, I'm starting to get cuts on my gums from eating all this food dry, and quite frankly, it hurts. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It's going according to plan, so I'm gonna drink this, um, and then I will see you guys for really the last and final meal, well, kind of, of the day. So, see you guys then. Alrighty, I'm in bed right now, just relaxing, all tan up. Uh, I feel like I'm like really, really dark even on the camera, but regardless, I'm gonna try and get into some light right here. Um, I'm gonna have my last and final meal. Uh, it's currently 12.30 at night, so I'm gonna eat this, um, take like a sleeping melatonin, and then try and knock out. Uh, but I'm eating basically two candy bars. We got a Kit Kat, and we have a recess peanut butter cup right here. I'm kind of like full, but I'm not exactly like really bloated or anything like that. I kind of can, I can, I can eat, but I really don't want to eat, especially junk. But this uh, candy bar, the Reese's uh, Pieces, like peanut butter one, it's like a bar with like peanut butter on the inside of it. If you were here last year, I ate the same bar one day out of my very first show. And as I was like getting some candy bars, like there was legitimately only one of these like sitting there on the shelf. So I'm gonna eat this guy right here. It brings back some like memories of like last year's first show, one day out, this is the exact bar that I ate. Damn, the chocolate smells really, really good, but that's delicious. Alrighty, I just finished that chocolate bar. I have about this much cereal left, but it is currently 12.30. Um, I think I might call it there, maybe eat another chocolate bar or so. Um, I'm pretty much like sick of eating food now at this point. I don't really want to eat anymore. I'm like force feeding a little bit, but I'm not like overly bloated but at the same time it's just like i'm over food i can't i can't really eat that much more um i have a little bit of cereal left that i don't, I don't know if i'm gonna finish the rest of this i mean it's very very close to the end but like just eating it like hurts my gums and I'm, I'm over it i might just instead of eat this eat maybe more candy it's a little bit easier to eat i do have some like gummy uh worms that i might snack on for the rest of the night but this was essentially one day uh out carb up day i mean this was over like 7,000 calories easily for the entire day, just as much carbs as I possibly can. Um, and a lot of people uh, know where I got this peak week and this carb up day from. If you guys watch Greg Doucette and Will Tennyson, I actually saw their video on this, replicated it, um, and just kind of formulated it more towards what I eat. Greg has probably more food than this one day out than I do, but I'm not as big as him. I don't need that much food, as much food as he eats one day out. So all I really needed was just this much food and I'm pretty much good to go. The point was to essentially go keto for three days before you carb up, 
water low, then cut your water one day out, and then you know, pee, 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 start bringing in the carbohydrates, sodium load at the end, and let the food absorb overnight, and bam, you're good to go for tomorrow. So that's the plan. Uh, and anyways, I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up here, maybe eat a little bit more candy before I go to bed. But other than that, that's a full freaking day of eating. I'm ending the video here. We got one more episode of this prep series, which you'll see a whole show day video. I'll try and record as much of that as possible. But other than that, I'm ending the video here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's been your boy Joe. Peace.